new report has revealed that anti-Semitism in Britain has skyrocketed since the October the 7th attacks. There's been an appalling 589% increase in incidents compared with the same period in 2022 and a nearly 150% increase since last year. Now, the Community Security Trust, which monitors anti-Jewish abuse, said the unprecedented increase was a watershed moment for anti-Semitism in the UK. It revealed a record 4,100 anti-Semitic incidents in 2023, many of which took place in schools and universities. It included more than 250 violent assault on, on assaults on Jews, the highest figure in 40 years. Lord John Mann, a government independent advisor on anti-Semitism, told Talk TV, these figures don't even tell the whole story. If there's a thousand anti-Semitic tweets directed against a Jewish woman, that goes as one incident, not a thousand. So in some ways, this is an underestimate of the number of incidents because they've always been very careful not to overstate to ensure there's credibility. Uh, so, yes, um, I mean, I think when I've spoken to Jewish friends and they say it's never been worse and actually quite a lot of them are genuinely sort of saying, are we going to be OK? Are we going to be safe? What are we going to do for our children and all that sort of stuff? And I still come back to that Giles Corrin article. that I don't know if you read a, a few weeks, maybe it was a month ago in The Times, where he said he said also that he was kind of, you know, who went for a walk with his wife and just went, what can we do? Where can we where could we go if if, if this turns out to be a place that we feel unsafe, unsafe to operate in. Um, now, it doesn't help when you have people like um, the, the, the the Rochdale Labour prospective um, candidate, Azar Ali. Azar Ali, yeah. Azar Ali. When he was um, making those anti-Semitic comments at the, at, the, at the party meeting, when he was saying about this, this sort of this conspiracy theory that the October the 7th attacks by Hamas were allowed to happen just so yeah. that they could actually sort of excuse going into Gaza. The trouble is that these conspiracy theories have been around since time, uh, forever. Yeah. I mean, these tropes about, for example, the media being ruled by Jews, the banks being run by Jews, the world being run by Jews, this sort of, you know, and they come round whenever there was anything like this. And you went out on those, I know you went out on those marches, the pro-Palestine marches mm -hmm. and the pro-Jewish marches. And it is, I think for an awful lot of people, it is that thing about the, the conflation with Jewish and that Israeli. Israeli. Yeah. And and people not thinking, not thinking it through. So I, I mean, I do think, you know, obviously there's racism, there's always been racism, there always will be racism. We will never stamp racism out because it's just a thing. Yeah, well, so, anti-Semitism is the oldest prejudice in the world. Uh, it's counterintuitive and strange to me that since uh, the genocide against the Israelis by Hamas, uh, there's been an explosion of anti-Jew hatred in this country. It seems very strange to me. Mm. Uh, it should really be the other way around. Uh, but... Uh, what I would say, I mean, it's disgusting and it's and it's it's racist. Uh, you know, Dame Law, um, uh, Maureen Lipman, famous Jewish actress, yeah. of course, and uh, she said somehow or other, anti-Semitism has become the new rock and roll. We had a guy on yesterday called Stephen Silverman, who's uh, the president of the campaign against anti-Semitism, and he said. You know, these are people, that, you know, he said, these are sort of Guardian reading liberals who see yeah. themselves at the vanguard of modern thinking, and yet they think it's cool to be anti-Semitic, to be racist towards Jews. That is a huge problem, and uh, we really, the government's got to do something about it. It's got to come down on this, like a ton of bricks, because it is, as we're, this report reveals, exploding. And it's really disconcerting. You know, I live very near Golders Green, where uh, there's a huge Jewish community. And, um, you know, my neighbours, you know, people who are 65 years old, lived here all their life. They're British, by the way. Yeah. They're my friends, you know. Uh, they're talking about leaving the country because they feel vulnerable and threatened. Now, it's disgusting, it's racist, and it's got to stop. But the, the one point I would make, uh, and this is the most worrying thing, when societies are, when countries are falling apart, when societies fall apart, anti-Semitism explodes. I give you Nazi Germany. Yeah. Well, That's what we've got to worry about. So my yeah. friend Keith Frazier, you know him as well, he runs the uh, Israel Solidarity Movement. He educates people on the difference between 
Israel and, and being yeah. Jewish. They're completely different things. But since Hamas attacked Israel, Islamophobia in this country has also gone up by 600%. And what I would say to anyone watching is, what do you expect to happen? Well, you have people, some people on this network, mm. on people on other networks, going on Twitter or X and saying, I don't recognise this my country anymore. I walk through London and all I hear is 50 other languages. If you other people who aren't traditionally English, whatever that looks like, this is what's going to happen. Because it's not just a case of you're going to be racist to people who, who are followers of Islam. You're racist to people who speak Yiddish. You're racist to people who speak Hebrew. If, 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 if people keep on suggesting that this country is no longer what it used to be, this is what's going to happen. That's there is, yeah, there is some of that, but I think there is a very specific story here. And I think if you go back to, you know, David Badil wrote that book called Jews Don't Count. Mm. And it kind of encapsulates all of this. The, and I made this point yesterday, the trouble with Israel stroke Jewish people in the minds of some of these people is that when they attack them, uh, whether they do so violently, whether they do so on social media or shouting in the street, they think they are punching up. They consider, because they've bought into the old tropes that, that you just mentioned, just the old stereotypes, yeah. all of that. They believe, oh, that group, they're doing... I remember a guy calling me once on the phone, uh, on a phone-in saying, yeah, why are you defending the Jews? They're doing just fine. They are doing just fine. It's yeah. one group of people, mm -hmm. every yeah. single one of them, doing just fine. And when people have sufficiently brainwashed themselves into their sense of rightness, that they really think these are the bad guys, you know, as far as they're concerned, they're just... It's like insulting Saddam Hussein or Kim Jong-un. That's, a, yeah. that's how they see it. That's how deluded these people are. 270,000 Jews in this country, yeah, that's right. all. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, you know, yeah and I... actually the anti-Semitism is concentrated around, I mean, five London boroughs, yeah, as well is, as in right. the rest of the country, but the, but the majority, I think about 50 Yeah, I live in one of them, yeah. But, yeah, you do. Um, and, and just some of the detail I wanted to mention, the things that are happening, it isn't just people being shouted at in the streets. It's Jews being spat on and punched, having religious clothing, having their, their yeah. jewellery torn off them, having vehicles driven at them. I mean, the detail in some of these reports about the rise is really appalling. And I think it's even more frightening if in Barnet or Stamford, Stamford Hill, or if you're visibly Jewish, if you are wearing, yeah. you know, Hasidic mm. clothing. I know children who won't, who can't wear that stuff to school anymore. The yeah. little boys who, you but know, we'll can't this, wear their yarmulkes. Emma, and Emma, Emma, these same areas. Yeah. But Stamford Hill is one of my neighbourhoods. They've yeah. had to have security outside the school yeah. for the last 50 I know, years. I know. Not a sudden, suddenly, no. old people get there. No, no, but look, it's, it's become a lot, this is the a worst lot, a lot explosion worse. of anti-Semitism for 40 years. So let's not say it's always been like. Well,